This is what I'm talking about. All right, this is very overdue, but also a new video because I got an old starter deck that still isn't out in English, but it's old for Japanese. And I got the two new Japanese starter decks. This is the Yamato starter deck and the Luffy starter deck. They just arrived in the mail yesterday and I'm stripping them in on time. So check them out because I am hype about these cards. I think they look very, very good. Let's just cut right into it and see what we got here. I got this uh, promo pack from Tokyo from my Nakama which uh, I still haven't opened. I wanted to open it on a video and I've just been very, very, very delayed on that. And uh, my homies, my boys, got me this shiny promo that I wanna take a look at. I think I glanced at it quickly and it looks pretty good. So I wanna show it off on camera. And then I got these, which one of these is out. We'll look at a couple more of those. And I got this VV promo and the Big Mom starter deck, which has been out for a while, but I still haven't even seen the cards in person. I saw them in a shelf in Tokyo in a store, but I wanna see them up close and hopefully you guys can enjoy them also. But let's start with the stuff that's like older, that's been around. So I'm gonna start with this, um, with this Red Pocket Happy New Year's Luffy that I think looks really good if I recall correctly. Yeah, look at that. That's like an alt art. That's like alt art quality. See that texture? I mean, it's nothing like too interesting in terms of the texture, but it looks really good. It's really pretty. I hope we get a card like this, Luffy eating meat. I don't know how relevant this card is right now. It was decent last set, but you never know. 9K rush on turn three or whatever can be, can be pretty solid. Um, so that's a really good looking card that I'm happy happy to see. I'll put that back. I feel like I want to just like keep it in this thing though, like keep it in here because it's just so nice in here. Was it in a sleeve or something? I don't know. Anyway, that's going back into this pocket and it will stay in there because I don't have a place set and I just have one and I like the container also. So I'll probably display that somewhere. And then next, I want to see, okay, so wait, I got one of these jump promos like open. So let's just look at this one. There it is. That's it. The cover, this is a unique promo card that came with the V jump magazine and I don't remember what it does, but blue and it costs four and it has combo power. So counter power, sorry, <laughs> whoops. So that's, this is pretty good, I guess, 5,000 power. But this is the one that I'm excited about. This VV promo, I wanted to see this with my eyes. I've really wanted to look with my eyes right at this. I get to shrip them something here at least. And yeah, look at that. Ah, oh, I love this art. It looks so good. This looks so dang good. Wow. So gorgeous. And this is just the skillless. So there's no text obstructing it. Just get to appreciate that beautiful art on there. Oh, I would do so much fun things with this art if I had it, but that's that. All right, next let's check out one of these Big Mom starter decks because I want to see what these cards look like. Yeah, and then we'll get into the other new decks and then that's it. Then that's the video. So I hope you all are enjoying this high, high paced, high stakes, high rewards deck look at. Oh, they changed the innards of this deck. Wow, and the shiny cards aren't right on the front now. So cool. Uh, I don't know. It's been so long since I've opened a Japanese starter deck, actually. All right, this art art's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. Pretty sunny. Pretty good looking. I think these are all like triggers too. Big Mom works off of like triggering stuff and manipulating life. And there's our skillless pickums. Here are all the uh, event cards. I, I really don't remember what like any of these do. I'm so out of loop. I'm actually really bad at this game right now. Good looking stage. Ooh, there's the leader. Wow, that is a shiny, nice looking leader card. Oh yeah, oh yeah, wow, big mem. And there's something else shiny right behind this. What's our next shiny card we get to see? Oh yeah, there's the big mom seven drop. I'm sorry, big mem seven drop. These cards are scary. Big Mom Yellow is a scary color. I'm excited to play it. I like how they made this shiny. That was a good touch. Good decision there. Good call, Bandai. Don, 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 don. All right, that's that half of the deck. And now we get into the other half of the deck, which I think the best boy is in here, if, I, if my memory serves me correctly. 
I think there's a best boy at the back of here somewhere. Snack. Nice. I, I wish I could talk about what these cards did more. I'm just, I'm not good at this game right now. I've, I will say that much, but I really enjoy playing and going to locals is so much fun. And uh, you know, you just keep playing and you might even get better sometimes. Puddin for the 2K counter. Ooh, our shiny boy, Shadowdit Katakuri. Wow, flicking the jelly bean. That man, you can flick. I'm gonna stop myself before I say something weird. But yeah, that card looks great. Wow, this art is so sick. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the shading on this. It just looks like the color versions of the manga art that they're putting on this just looks so dang good. I love that. I love it. And there's our squad. All right, cool. So, Bigumem deck opened. Now, should we strip him this pack? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Let's see what's in here. I don't even know what you can get in here. Frankie, maybe? I don't think these are shiny. No, not shiny. Frankie. Furanki. Look at that man. Super Makaseru. All right, so we got that cool card. And then what do we do? I guess we do the Luffy one first because I'm more excited for Yamato. And we just did something yellow. So let's shift gears to black. I think this Luffy leader art looks so cool. I pre-ordered a ton of these in English because... I'm definitely going to be playing both of these colors and both of these decks have cards in them that I think are going to be staples for the archetypes that are going to come out of these colors. There's our don 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 don't you forget about me now. I said don 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 don. Wait, these are all the shiny cards. I want to save those for last. Let's put those at the back. Shiny stuff at the back. Yeah, okay, like that. All right. Here we go, now we're getting into it. Gaimon, is that his name? The man in the treasure box. A very powerful skillless. You think he's skillless, but really he has all the skills. He must. Uh, Kobe. Yeah, swab in the deck. Shirahoshi, looking very cute. And Vivi looking mysterious in the desert. Yes, I wonder what this Vivi does. This is a trigger play this card blocker maybe maybe that's this blocker possibly it's like a boa kind of same as boa from the blue starter Ooh, this man is about to get served he's about to get cooked can you believe this guy is the reason why shanks is missing an arm that's like that's crazy to me but i guess it's real we got a 2k counter here nice that's pretty good looking this i'm does this do the same thing as the other one drop I don't know. I can't read Japanese. My fault. Garp. Wow. Five drops, 7K Garp in a starter deck. That's pretty cool. That's pretty strong. Peepaw. Look at that Gramper. Gramper gazing out into the distance, into the starry night. Such cool art. Very cool. Luffy. Very excited. He's our skillless. Three cost, 5K. Luffy sitting on the front of the merry-go or going merry, depending on what you what media you consume. Raboon! Boom, boom, Raboon. Pretty nice. I'll take it. Oh, yo, Bonchan. This is the first Bon Clay card I've seen that isn't a 2K counter. What does he do? Don X1 something. Five cost, 6,000 power. Uh, Bentham. He's my favorite character. Wink, wink, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. If you ever pay attention and stream and need to know the answer or something. Whoa, is this Gum Gum Bell? Luffy belling it up. Is this like counter power? Two cost, event card. Uh, give one something. Minus seven cost. Is that what this does? Interesting. That's my guess. Wow. Sock, rock, sock, em, bop, em. And for the shiny cards, yo, yeah, 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 that looks so good. I love this leader. This leader is so sick. I definitely want to play that. Shiny on the coat for sure, for shirt. Should have made his X shiny, his X on his chest. Scars, always shiny scars, but they did the band on the hat, so I'm into that. I'm with that. And next we got, oh, Uta, that's cute. No counter power. I forget what this does. Give something minus two cost or kill something two cost. I don't know. That would be too good. And Shanks. Shanks, I think he kills all the one cost cards on play, which is kind of wild. 
kind of wild card. He's a nine cost, doesn't have rush, but this is a, this is a good looking card. That's a good looking shiny card. Wow, that's so pretty. God, I love the art in this game. It's so good. It's so good. I'm such a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of it. All right, that's the Luffy starter deck. Now let's get into the Yamato starter deck, which I am so excited about. I think um, Niji Mark did the art for this Yamato, and I'm pretty sure they were the one that did like the Sanji alt art from set one, and I think something in set two also, but I really like their style and their art looks really good. So I'm excited to see, I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm gonna stick the shiny stuff in the back so we can save it for last, cause it's so exciting. It's such exciting stuff to see with our eyeballs finally here. After this, don 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 don. All right, those are all the shiny cards right there. Those are going to the back. Shiny to the back. Shiny to the back. There we go. All right. All right. A samurai. Welcome, samurai. Thank you for coming. That's our four cost skillless, five thousand power. Oh wait, this is not a skillless. This has some trigger. Trigger something. I don't know what that trigger is. Ooh, that looks good. That looks really good. Wow. Wow, that is fantastic. Dang, the art in this deck is so sick. Is this Kaido? What? What is going on here? I can't even really see the art that well. It's like kind of, I don't know. But Kaido's face looks cool, I guess. I don't know what that does. Don X wants something. Ooh, Momo. Wow, this is a pretty card. The colors on this are just so good looking. So awesome. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, Shinobu, young Shinobu, or I don't wanna spoil anything. Whoops, did I do that? I don't know what she is. She's, maybe that's his blocker, I don't know. Oh, Zoro's relative, maybe. This guy it might be related. Five cost 6,000 power and does something somehow. Another samurai. Dumpling Head Samurai, nice to have you here, thank you. Luffy, whoa, that is sick, what? What, this is the coolest looking three cost skillless I've seen yet in this game. Culverin, Jet Culverin, just like that, bop, bop, bop. He looks very thin, he looks like sickly thin actually, but maybe it's just because all his meat is going into his fist. Yeah, this is what I was excited for. Yo, this looks so good. Our 2K counter, Yamato. And this one has the alt art that's coming out. Is that like promo thing? And they look so rad. Wow, oh, so good. Whoa, this Yamato is insane. Beast form. Yo, this is the prettiest starter deck. This is the prettiest starter deck yet. I'm saying it. That's that's me saying it. No, this does, but it looks pretty strong. That's a big dawn moment. And Yamato, boom. This looks like give something plus 4,000 power, maybe, and add a card from your life or move a card from your life, maybe. I don't know, that's my guess. And the, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I can get into that. Yes, look at those shiny earrings. They nailed it. They smashed this one. Yes, even the shiny in the belt, whoo. Reverse hologram decisions on point, Bandai. Very good, yes. And the things in the hair also are shiny. The club is shiny, yes. God, I love this leader. I cannot wait to have this on the back of one of my leaders because when I flip it around, it's still gonna look really good. Oh, then, oh, then. Wow, this is like some Japanese woodblock print style stuff. This is what I'm talking about. This is it, this is it. This is modern day Japanese trading cards are the current version of Japanese woodblock prints. And this is doing it. This is doing it completely. I need a zillion of this card. I need this card framed all around my house. Oh, is Look at him looking at Otama. Wow. And then he made the, the faces on his hat shiny. Good, good job. And that this on great decisions. Great reverse hologram decisions. I mean, it's not like that crazy, but it's Ace. Everybody loves Ace. Ace is such a lovable guy. But this, ah, oh, and this, ooh. Gotta be careful looking at that. I'm gonna burn some holes in my eyes. It looks so good. Anyway, I'm a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip to you would be about my favorite tooth, which you may have heard of. It's tooth number six. It's your canine. 
K9 is tooth number six. Also, 12 is a K9. That's tooth, tooth number 12 on the, on the other. I'm sorry, 11. 12 is a premolar. I was just getting so excited about six, I doubled it to the other side. But yes, uh, six and 11 are your K9s. It's the longest tooth in the mouth. It's the coolest tooth in the mouth because it's the transition of your anterior to posterior teeth. That's why it only has one cusp. It's also called the cuspid because it's just one point on the cusp. But yeah, I don't know. I talk about dentistry a lot in the last couple of videos. So if you have questions about dentistry, leave them in the comment section. Maybe I'll even make a video where I just like talk about that while I strip them some cards. Sang gozaimasu, and I'll see y'all next time. Okay, it's a nice day. Here we are for a really nice day.